stretches that really was the whole game really they cut it 58-52 and uh, Kerr said we had 11-0 run there Kobe was a big part of that and then I took him out and put seventh in seventh was really good during the stretch there he was not very good at all in the first half but the second half during that stretch I thought he was really good and I also thought Nasir was really active got the ball inside got the ball off the boards uh, Nasir is 19 seven rebounds I think those two guys during that stretch were the biggest players for us. Uh, I like the fact that I don't like the fact that it feels like he's struggling with his shot. But Kenny Williams, how about that? I mean, he's one for five, but yet he has nine assists. That's got to be a career high for him. And somebody probably missed a layup or something. He could have gotten double figures. But uh, you like that? Twenty for uh, Cam. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well. We had some good shots, didn't make them. The discouraging thing to me was we. Put them on the free throw line so many times in the first half. They had 16 free throws and we had five. Uh, it's not our game. Uh, we shot too many threes, didn't make enough of them. I still think we're going to be a really good three-point shooting team. We're just not making them right now. Uh, but uh, rebounds, 46-37. I thought it would be better than that, but they again had 13 offensive rebounds to our 11. So it makes every game they've played, they've got more offensive rebounds than the other team. There is, it's a little bit skewed because they shoot 34% and we shoot 52 so there's more offensive rebounds available, but I didn't like that and I talked to them before the game about making sure that that didn't happen. But uh, a little frustrating time, but uh, the biggest frustration for me was the turnovers and putting them on the free throw line way too much. Really the 18 turnovers, half of them were about the freshmen. Mm -hmm. Is that just part of the, the learning curve? I, if it is, I wish they'd freaking be faster learners, just learners. But, uh, uh, you know, you go down, Luke had two, seventh had two in the first half, didn't have any in the second half. Uh, Leakey has four, uh, Kobe has four, uh, yeah, Nasir has one, so that's nine of them right there. But uh, uh, Kobe can attack the basket. He made some silly play. One pitch ahead to Luke, Luke wasn't open. And in the very next play, Sterling threw it to somebody else, he wasn't open. And I told him it's pretty easy to figure out why they were not open, because he didn't catch the pass. Uh, but that's the most discouraging thing the 18 turn. What are your thoughts on what it may be? What's that? What are your thoughts on what it may be, um, the turnovers? What are you seeing? Not listening, not learning, all those kind of things. Coach Smith used to say that turnovers are either selfishness or carelessness, and half hours tonight were carelessness, and half of them were selfish. You're trying to make a great play, or you're careless with the basket. We turned it over three times dribbling the ball. You know, so if you want to be good, you don't turn the sucker over. What have you seen from this year, Little, recently, the last five games, his growth since the beginning of the season? Uh, he's, he's really active. I like that. He's, he's in a tough situation right now. We're trying to teach him the four spot a little bit. So for a freshman to go in and play more than one position, going across the line from three, three is one player, two, three is one player, four, five is another player. So you have to go across the line. That's difficult. Leakey's having to do the same thing, so that's difficult for them. But uh, I think he's getting better. He, doesn't have a great appreciation for the value of the basketball, even though he only had one turnover. Uh, but I like how hard he plays. Uh, you know, the first shot he made was the three banked in. It was not a good shot, but uh, he made a couple of really good ones after that. And uh, I just like his activity on the boards. You know, if you look at this here, eight for nine. That's not bad, guys. It was, that most nights. It was pretty even on the glass, and you guys closed 18 to 7 on the glass. What was the difference those last More minutes? attention to details, just like the 18 turnovers. We had three turnovers, I think, guys, in the last 55 seconds. And 15 was bad enough, but you have three in the last 55 seconds. But more attention to detail. Sterling gave us some good things in there, too. Uh, Garrison, uh, four fouls in 12 minutes is not the kind of thing we need, too, because he's played pretty well for us. Would you used five games in. How do you feel like Kobe White has adjusted to starting with Kobe? As I said in the last press conference after the game, I'm really pleased with our point guard, both of them. Uh, you know, I don't like one four. That, that is not good. Uh, you like five for six from the foul line. You like three of eight from three point line. But uh, he knows he can play better than that. And seventh, as I said, was not very good in the first half. But during that stretch in the second half, he was really good. Sam. Well, you used, uh, I think, 11 players in the first half. I mean, is this team potentially one of your deepest 
could be, and you know, as you get into bigger, tougher games, your rotation goes down a little bit. There's no question about that. So when you get a chance, you better play well because there may not be a second one coming. But that's just that's just the way it is. And uh, I am comfortable playing a lot of guys. Playing 11 guys, major minutes is really hard. Eight or nine, I'm really comfortable with, and I got no problem with that. When you're doing that, I mean, <coughs> what's harder to develop that chemistry? Is it offense or defense? A little bit of both. But the biggest thing is the season is so long. I mean, my gosh, we start practice on July 1st and play the last game uh, June 30th. It's a freaking whole year. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play a lot of guys because it is a long season, and I think you need, I do. I'm not talking about anybody else. I can care less what everybody else does. Uh, I, I feel like we've got to build depth, and you build depth by playing it. And, uh, and the other thing is, I want to see how they play. I mean, if I kept seventh out of the game because we played the way we played the first half, I would have missed something that was really good. And so we still keep giving guys chances. But as I said, once you get down into tougher competition, get into league play and all that stuff, it rotation tightens up a little bit. Coach, there's going to be some tougher competition later on this week in Las Vegas. Excited to see how this team handles itself. No. So right now, I don't like how I think they're going to handle it. You know, I told them we've got to have some a good practice tomorrow, but we're getting ready to play a different animal. And uh, if we play like we did in some stretches tonight, it would be very unpleasant for us. But our, some of our really good teams learn things before you get to that stretch, and then you raise your attention span, you raise your intensity level, uh, you focus on what you're supposed to do, and not get caught up in other things. So hopefully, our team will do that because. Uh, Texas, Michigan State, UCLA, uh, that's pretty difficult. And you know, our schedule is so crazy. we got four games in eight days, and then we have four games in 28 days. That's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank Thank you, Roy. Last one. With, uh, with Last Seven, two. how much over the past two years did you have to build up his confidence? Who? Seven. Seven. Uh, a little bit, but not much, guys, because I was always truthful. He was never healthy. I'm serious. I don't care who you are. If you're not healthy, you're not going to play very well at this level. Uh, he made poor decisions is the one thing that I think was not related to his health probably. But if he had been healthy, he may have been able to go past some of those people too. But just think about it tonight. He had two turnovers. He got beat twice on straight line drives in the first half. In the second half, he had seven. But not all seven. I mean, he had, he had no turnovers in the second half. So that was good. How is Cam Johnson? Um been the season for you. Um, he's been double figures in mm -hmm. all five games. Mm -hmm. um, what are you thinking so far with his leadership? Uh, he and Luke and Cam, I mean, he and Luke and Kenny have given us great leadership. And, and he missed a couple open ones tonight. He missed a big run. It looked like he's mm -hmm. shot from the 1950s. <laughs> but uh, Cam's had a good year. Last of the game, he was the defensive player of the game. But, uh, we've got to tighten it up defensively, covering the basketball, which is always a problem in today's game because kids can do anything with the basketball. The referee never calls palm in or anything. It's just, it's, it's not legal. But uh, uh, all, not just Cam, but everybody's got to get better defensively. But uh, he's been a great leader for us. And uh, uh, I've got two of those. I don't need three. Uh, but I think that making shots really gets him more enthused about what he's doing on the defensive floor. He's a complete player, too. I mean, uh, he's playing the four spots on and that's hard for him to do, except it makes it easier because the guy guarding him is not nearly as mobile as he is, too. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, guys.